Welcome to our RNA phase detection and recognition project. Here's our project definition. The first part of our project is anime phase detection. The second part is recognition. Here are the 10 classes of anime characters we want to classify. So let's talk about the method of our project. So firstly, I'll talk about the history of gradients. Uh, it is the image feature descriptor. So these are five main steps. So what they do is divide it into cells and calculate the two values from the gradient and create a histogram for each, each cell and treat that vessel into the normalization and calculate it to a large factor. And so we'll talk about the SVN. It's a kind of robust binary classifier. So first we get a positive and negative image from the dataset and then um, calculate the whole feature from the previous method. And then it will fit the hyperplane which clearly separate the two classes to maximize the margin of the classifier. So the third method we'll talk about is sliding windows and bounding boxes. So first give a threshold and according to that get a list of bounding boxes in the order of window size and location accordingly. And so you can put it to the classifier to protect. And finally for all the satisfied windows I need to use the IOU to filter out the overlapping bounding boxes. I use the convolutional neural network to perform the recognition. For the training and the testing of deep learning CNN modules, each input image will be passed through a series of convolution, polling, fully connected layers and apply the softmax to classify an object with the probability between 0 and 1. I decided to develop the VG16 net since it is one of the most excellent vision architectures for deep learning. It is deeper, better, and simpler than AlexNet and other traditional CNNs. You can see the difference from this page. What I have worked for this project is to collect data set from the online source, three methods to detect any phases, and the final combination of detection and recognition. I have improved the data sets for recognition. I also constructed data sets for my teammate. Rather than just performing the VGG16, I also compared the results with different modules. Here's a diagram of the whole workflow of our project. Let's talk about the results of the detection. I have proved three good examples and two poor examples. CR1 contains false positive. The reason might be the feature may be not in the negative dataset. Since patches, which is not anime faces, can be anything else. There is another one which is false negative. The reason might be the style of the drawing this image is quite different compared to other anime faces, which is rarely appeared before. Here are the results of the recognition. The left side are the successful examples. The first reason for the failure is the features of the character face is not included. You can see for the top to right case, Rem's hair decoration isn't fully included. This kind of failure happens when the detection range is too small. The second reason is the art style is similar to other characters. You can see the down right case, Raymond looks similar to Konata. We also visualize the recognition result on the detection result. You can also see this example from the demo. Let's do a comparison of the method I implemented for anime phase detection with the other two methods I have found online. To compare with the open 3 cassette with local binary pattern, so it has similar accuracy, but the LBP is faster because it handles binary values instead of the numeric values. To compare with fast RCN, the fast RCN is much more efficient and precise than the Hawk with SVM. The CN layers are much more powerful to classify the image than the SVM and region of interest pulling layers can locate the face directly instead of sliding the window one by one. Here's the comparison of different methods. Please note, from the proposal, we planned to use MTCNN or RCNN. However, they are designed for detection, or you can say the simple classification, rather than the recognition, or you can say the complex classification. We decided to choose a model similar to VGG16 to do the comparison. So first, let's run the first example, the detection only. So you can see the bounding box on the and the face. So let's run the second example for both detection and recognition. This orange image. So I resize the half of this orange size to make it faster. So first do the detection. So you can see the bounding box on anime face. So I do the recognition. I double size the bounding box to make a new negative get more detail. So here's a list of probability which character she belongs to. And this is the final result. So you can see the name with the top probability. Actually the anime face quite match the character. And we are done. Here are the topics we covered. Here are the datasets we used. Here are the references. Thank you very much.